Hi guys. So I will, my husband just pulled three packages off the porch. Whoops. Uh, he was supposed to be at work, but ended up staying home for the day because sick kids. Um, <laughs> so he got to see them all. But anyways, I'm really excited about the three packages that came in. And I wanted to share them with you guys as I, they got opened. Um, this first one was already opened and I'll explain. But I have some soaps coming up that I've planned that I wanted to go ahead and uh, attempt stamping on. So I contacted Rockin' Roberts Designs, and I'm going to actually link his shop in the description below, um, and asked him to create me these custom stamps. And so here they are. There was three of them. This is the first. There's this one. And they just, they came out beautifully. They really did. And he was great to work with. Um, made sure to send multiple proofs of like what they would look like on um, the, the as the stamp themselves what the impression would look like sizes Just made sure to really be thorough with it pictures when they were done. It was great um, There ended up being a little mistake that when I received my package I only got two of the three stamps and so I made sure I didn't like lose it when opening it and contact him was like hey I think I'm missing one and it just happened to get left in the shipping area. No big deal. Um, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll send it out the next day. So I was like, it's really okay. But for my inconvenience, which it was not an inconvenience at all. It's not like I needed it right that minute. And it, he shipped it out the next day. But for my inconvenience, I got a free stamp from his store. And so this is the one, ooh, upside down. Uh, this is the one I ended up going with, these cute little eyelashes. So I'm gonna have to plan something for those. But anyways, gorgeous, wonderful stamps. He was great to work with and I will definitely be ordering more stamps uh, in the future. I haven't ever stamped soap, so we'll see. But uh, if I do, I will definitely be getting a hold of him. So then my next one, it's really exciting. I, I actually won something. <laughs> Triple A Candle was hosting 12 days of Christmas giveaways and just every day they had something different. And I actually won, and I won a pound of fragrance oil of my choice. So, I have never ordered from them before. This is not a company I've ever ordered from, so I'm gonna be honest, this was the hardest decision I've faced in a while. Because when I went on their website and went through the list, I probably came up with at least 30 fragrances I want. Um, so trying to narrow that down. Also just like the stress and pressure of, oh my goodness, I'm getting a whole pound of this fragrance oil. What if I don't like it? And I want it to be useful for multiple batches. So after much deliberation, forcing my poor husband to go through this list with me and be like, help me eliminate some, which is, he's like, I have no idea. This is your thing. You decide. <laughs> and still wanting to buy all those fragrances. I ended up deciding on hazelnut coffee. And so yeah, this is from AAA Candle. So I'm hoping it's good and I can make lots of coffee soap. Oh, that's different. Coffee soap in the future. And I am definitely thinking that I am going to need to go order some other fragrances from them because I definitely have a massive, massive, oh my goodness, I can already smell it, <laughs> massive list of fragrances I wanted from them. They had some really great sounding ones. Um, I just, again, I was getting a pound of it, so I was like, let's go with something maybe safe. Oh, I love coffee. <laughs> I love the smell of coffee. Um, so I have done messed up and not gotten the fragrance notes on any of these, because there's going to be more, by the way. Spoiler alert, uh, I got more fragrances, whoops, <laughs> but it's it's definitely coffee. It's not like that strong espresso smell, but it's coffee and you get that nutty, warm smell from the hazelnut. I just want to sit here and smell this all day. It's making my mouth water. It's bad, um, but it's also really good. So it's great. I'm super excited. Shout out to AAA Candle for... Uh, my lovely prize and getting that to me and i'm thinking i'll definitely be purchasing more but definitely definitely will be making coffee soap here soon because this smells fabulous i also think i need to go make myself a cup of coffee now <laughs> 
So then my last package was from Aztec because they had their thing of like, hey, we got three new fragrances, so get your free samples of them. And then, you know, they always do the five for five and I ended up being suckered into buying more fragrances from them. I did, I did actually need some this time. I truly did um, for the soaps that I have planned for those stamps. Actually, I needed some fragrances. So it wasn't a total like, yeah, anyways. So first I got Dragon's Blood. Um, I've heard a lot about this one. I'll probably put fragrance notes in the description just because I failed at preparing myself for this. I just, they got pulled off the porch. The kids are napping, I get excited. I was like, hey, look, perfect, let's open them. <laughs> I did not prep. So I've heard a lot about this one. I've heard it's supposed to be rather strong um, and overpowering. Obviously, I've also heard that it varies from suppliers, um, but that it's got this in general. Okay, I'm not getting super overpowering. I don't know. I'm a little underwhelmed by it, which is sad because this is one of the ones I have planned for one of those stamp soaps. To me, it was supposed to, I don't know, especially with the name Dragon's Blood and, and the way I've heard it described from other people, I'm thinking like strong, powerful, spicy, in your face notes. And I'm just, I'm gonna be honest, my nose is slightly stuffed, but I don't think, I don't know, I still smell that coffee. It almost smells a little perfumey to me. Um, I'll come back to that one, smell it more later might have to try Dragon's Blood from another company because as I'm sitting here thinking about this hope I have planned that this is not resonating with the idea I had. It's not bad, it really isn't. I think I'm more just off the fact that I have this specific idea. It's based off a character for this soap and I have this criteria I need to meet and that's just not feeling it right now. Moving on. Um, Black Ice. So again, I've heard about this one. This isn't one I needed for anything. This is just one of the ones I was like, well, I need to get so many to fulfill my coupon code. So let's get it. Again, I, I messed up and did not get fragrance notes. So I can't be like, yeah, I really smell that. Or this is what it should smell like. Sorry, guys. Okay, it's definitely got a cologne smell. I don't know what it's a knockoff of. It says type, so it's a knockoff of somewhere. But I don't know where. But I definitely just get like this, mm, yeah, like this cologne smell. I almost said perfume, that's why it's not perfume at all. It's very masculine cologne, kind of cleanish smell. I like it. I'm always up for manly fragrances. I feel like I have a harder time coming by them. Um, I got aloe and green clover, which with hopeful spring coming up um sounded like a great one to have very fresh very fresh very clean and green smelling which I kind of expect i like it and i am definitely excited to throw that into an upcoming spring so so i'm really hoping we're almost in with winter it's not true at all. It's only end of January and in Northwest Indiana, we have winter through like March <laughs> at least. So I'm a long ways off, but wishful thinking. Um, Sweet Winterberry. So this is another one I got for one of those stamp soaps that I am using for a specific character. Hoping this one hits what I'm needing. Though to be honest, I'm needing it for the gooseberry note and I don't really know what a gooseberry is. So, it's probably going to be good no matter what. I like it. It's, I think it's going to be that gooseberry because it's not like um, a berry smell. It can be like, yeah, that's raspberry, that's blackberry. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It's very sweet, um, but it's not like an overpowering Mickey nauseous kind of sweet. It's, it's good. Good sweet. I'm like lacking. My brain's not working. I Like I said, I haven't had coffee yet today. I'm trying to think of ways to describe things. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Maybe this unboxing uh, right away was not my best idea. 
Okay, that's from the free one, so I'm gonna save that. Oh, cinnamon bun. So this one is actually not skin safe. I got this one for some wax melts. The day I find a cinnamon bun that I can use in soap, I will be thrilled. I've looked at a handful of them and can never find one that is skin safe, and it's because of the whole cinnamon and everything. I'm probably just gonna have to, you can't open it, blend my own somehow because I want a cinnamon bun. Mm, notification, sorry. Um, I want a cinnamon bun soap, but for now, I will be doing a cinnamon bun wax melt. So, that's why I got this one. This one will not be going in a soap, though. Oh. Yes. It's so good. It's just like a cinnamon bun. It's delightful. I may be keeping some of these wax melts for my house, just so that I don't know, I can torture myself, make it smell like there's cinnamon. I'll check my husband one day, he'll come home from work and be like, oh my goodness, did you bake? No. <laughs> okay, so this one is oak moss. I don't have anything to tell you about it besides, I'm gonna guess it's gonna smell oaky and mossy and masculine. I like that. So, Still going back to the dragon split because it's just not hitting what I want. I'm wondering if I mix this with a little bit because I get patchouli out of this a little bit. I wonder if I mix some of this with that dragon split if it wouldn't. I'll have to smell the two of them together and see if that kind of. I'll go on wood so I don't spill you. Well, my hand's gonna smell like that now. Anyways, I'm gonna have to see if maybe. At least it smells good. Uh, maybe the two of those together will kind of go more towards what I was hoping for. Caramel pecan pie. This one is skin safe. I definitely have a soap planned for this one. No idea when I'll do it. It's just like this idea I have. I don't actually have it as... I have some of my soaps on a soap calendar as a concrete like these I'm going to make. Around this time I like to... I would like to say by this time, but realistically, it's not how it works. Around this time. This is not one of those. This is one, though, that I definitely have had an idea for for a long time and would like to get to it. I get a lot of caramel. And I definitely get the pecan. And I actually even kind of get, like, that buttery crust sort of smell, which is perfect. So, I'm going to make a pie, so don't know when. Don't hold your breath on that one but <laughs> one day it will. Black Raspberry Vanilla. So this is another one I've heard tons about. It's a very popular fragrance, um, especially in soaps and stuff. So I figured I needed to jump up and go ahead and get one. And it's just it's delicious. I've actually, I got a sample of Stephanie's um, from Micah's and more. She does free soap samples when you buy stuff from her because you can buy those fragrance oils and so i got a black raspberry vanilla one from her my bathroom smelled amazing for so long and that's when i was like okay i probably need to jump on the bandwagon and get into the black raspberry vanilla so i got white tea and ginger i kind of was sitting there thinking that i need more of a just a light kind of fragrance i have lots of florals and um berries, baked goods. <laughs> I was just looking for kind of a lighter fragrance. I'm having a lot of trouble with these petals today. <laughs> so, I like it. It's very soft and clean with that white tea, but then you get a little bit of spiciness from that ginger. And I think it's definitely different than a lot of fragrances that I have intend to lean towards. Um, I try not to always buy fragrances that appeal to me, which is hard because naturally I'm like, oh, that sounds good to remember that I'm not making these strictly for myself. I need to find ones that other people want too. So trying to broaden that with something like that. Same thing with this one. It is wood, sage, and sea salt, which apparently is a Joe Malone type. I don't know what that is, but there it is. So this one sounded really interesting. Again, I can't tell you the fragrance notes, but it did sound interesting. Also, just the name. Let's see. So I have oak moss. 
which is not the same, never mind, I was going to compare, but it's wood sage, you know. And definitely, yeah, it's definitely sage and salt, which is different, but I really like it. It's also a very, I would say, a very unisex fragrance, um, which is always good. Drops of Rain. I got this because I'm hoping to experiment into salt bars, and uh, rain and salt sounds like a good idea to me. Mm, okay, I'm one of those people, I love how it smells after it rains, like after a nice spring rain it just there's just this smell and i love it and that is this bottle it's it's good it is clean it is what is it i don't know you just it's the smell of rain and i love it and i think that's gonna be perfect for a salt bar hopefully i have no idea why this one is in a different bottle but it's called earth it's Nag Shampa, probably just said that horribly wrong, sorry. It's apparently like a variation of that, which I've heard a lot of that one, which they also offer, but this is supposed to be a variation, apparently a more earthy smell. I can't compare it to the other one because I don't know what the original smells like. But this, again, is for one of those stamp soaps. You're just hoping it meets what I'm, my expectations, I guess. Very earthy, slight incense, which I understand, I think, is what the original is supposed to lean towards. That was a weird face, sorry. Yeah. I think I'm going to... So all of them are just a little off, and I think it's because what I have in mind is not going to be found in one fragrance. I do think it's going to require um, blending for this specific character. So I'm thinking I might do a little bit of the earth, a little bit of the dragon's blood, and maybe a little bit of the oak moss. I'm going to have to experiment, play around with those, and see if I can't get it right. So the three free ones that um, they kind of entice me to order right now with, because it's like, hey, if you order now, you can get these ones free, are peaches and mint. Sweet grass and dandelion, which this is the one I'm most excited about, honestly. And green mango. So we'll start with this one. I'm really excited. They're all like spring, summery kind of smells, which obviously perfect timing, which is why they did it, you know. But anyways, it works out well for me. Um, I may have to like pencil them in somewhere in my calendar. My hands are going to smell funky. I have a little bit of everything on them. That is that tropical mango, just, it is, yeah, it's very mango. And you get a little bit of a, like a raw green smell, but it's, it's good. It's very, very mango, which it should be, but I like it. It smells good. I'm going to save that one for last because I'm hoping it's as good as I, I want it to be. So peaches and mint should be fairly straightforward. There's peaches and mint. So when I first smelled it, I just got peach. The second smell, I was getting pretty much just mint. And by like that third smell, it was this really nice blended combo of peaches and mint. And I really like it, actually. That's going to be a good one, too. All right. Sweet grass and dandelion. Don't let me down. I don't know what I'm expecting from it, honestly. Because I don't know what a dandelion really totally smells like. Um, not that I don't have them, I just don't think I've ever really sat down and been like, this is the smell of a dandelion. But something about the the title of it, and they have like this beautiful whimsical picture of, of a puffy dandelion blowing off in the wind, and so just like all of that got me really excited for it. Something about it just sounds good, and I hope it is. Oh yay, more fragrances on my fingers. It's always on that top little part. Oops. I love it. It's grass. And it's... It's definitely... It's, it's sweet, but it's kind of like... 
it's freshly cut, but then there's something to it, and it's gotta be that dandelion that I can't place my finger on. And it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna have to go find the fragrance notes because I wanna know what they classify it as, but it's, I'm gonna guess it's that, that dandelion because there's just something in there that I cannot place my finger on but I love it it smells so good it's clean sweet fresh light airy it's just good so if you're looking for suggestions I definitely definitely say go grab that definitely triple A's hazelnut coffee I'm resisting the urge to just sit here and sniff it <laughs> the peaches and mint I actually really like Pops of rain, the sweet winter berry, good. Um, black raspberry vanilla, I think everyone knows is pretty much good. That's, that's such a popular one. Woods Age and Sea Salt. Um, and this is not to say I did not like all of these because honestly I did. Even like the Dragon's Blood that I seemed a little disappointed in, it's only because of what I had expectation wise. Otherwise it does smell good. And I, so I really did love all of these. I honestly don't think I ran into one that I didn't like. But these are the ones that just kind of stood out to me the most. And then, so we've got our Rockin' Robert stamps. Definitely go give them a check. Um, these are not just soap stamps. They're cookie cutters. You know, if you do polymer clay or, or things that you need to stamp into or cut out, like he's got it all. And he does the custom orders. It's great to work with. So that is my multiple unboxing today and have a great day.